Irish weather. Oh. 25 knots. Been raining most of the day. I dare say I won't be getting out to the reef anytime soon. But that doesn't mean I can't train. Okay, now that I'm out of the wind and you can hear me a little bit, my name's Ant Judge. I'm an instructor trainer for Apnea Australia and also for Cairns Freediving School, which I run up in Cairns, based up in Cairns. Um, I'm currently ranked number one in competitive breath hold in Australia. I have been since 2009, um, with a seven minute, 15 second breath hold done in competition. Um, what I'm going to show you today is some of my real basic drills that you can kind of do anywhere. You don't need to be in the water. You don't need a safety buddy. We're not going to be holding our breath for a long time, like to the point of blackout or anything like that. Basically, this drill just trains the carbon dioxide tolerance. Carbon dioxide is what causes your urge to breathe. So this is what we're training just to tolerate a stronger urge to breathe so we can kind of move up both sides of the ladder um, and achieve the goals of whatever breath hold that is. This drill is awesome for not just freedivers and spearfishermen, but for all water enthusiasts, kayakers, surfers, you name it, this drill really, really works. And the best thing about it is you don't need a safety buddy. You can just do it in awesome places like this, or you can do it just walking around the block. So basically it's apnea walking, apnea is holding your breath and walking. So basically this is the drill. Okay, so this is my kickoff point here. Nice and relaxed. I'm gonna fast forward all this stuff for you so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Okay, breathing, counting my steps still. I'm going to try to do half the amount of steps as my recovery. You guys can start on an even amount, but I'm just going to start at about half, so I'm going to do it around about 30 steps. And then we're going to go for 60 steps again. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go 25 steps as recovery this time. Okay, 15 steps only. You just got to keep going go all the way down to five whatever you want now remember this is a carbon dioxide drill for tolerating carbon dioxide the urge to breathe i'm not actually hypoxic at all i'm not walking anywhere near as far as i could walk but what i'm doing is i'm just trying to get my body really really used to controlling the urge to breathe and tolerating it the more you do it the, the more like you can tolerate it it's very very simple it's like resistance training but for our breath hold 
This is such an easy drill. It's a way to get out of the house. I'm really lucky. I live here right on the beach. Uh, the only hard part about doing it is because it's such a small suburb. Everyone wants to say hi and wave to you. And then you're walking past looking like an absolute tool for holding your breath. But it gets me off the couch. Uh, it's a great dry drill. And like I said, I believe this is the bread and butter drills that got me um, up into that seven minute mark. Just learning how to tolerate my breath, like my urge to breathe. Real, real simple for you. Uh, you can do the exact same drills, but pausing, doing sort of like a passive recovery where between each breath hold, uh, you just stop. And um, yeah, just sit down if you want to, recover for a certain amount of time and then start again. But for me, this is the one I like the most because this is how I train most of the time. This is how I dive because most of the time I'm spearfishing. Um, it's just all the time on the move. Even after my dive, I hit the surface. I'm still swimming along. Okay, for those of you still playing along at home, just remember, breath hold is a very individual activity. Your drills could start way harder or way easier than what this drill was, but that's fine. Start somewhere that's comfortable and you'll start seeing your breath hold progress either way. The best place to learn how to free dive or hold your breath is by doing a free diving course. Your instructor will take you through all the right things to do. You'll avoid all the potholes and you'll see your free diving or breath hold rapidly increase. Also, go and see a doctor before you start doing any of these activities just to make sure you don't have any pre-existing conditions that could affect your breath hold. Otherwise, get out there, do some apnea walking, get a bunch of yous together. When they let us get out of this lockdown, jump in the water, get some of your mates together, book onto a course, or just get out and have a good free dive. 